Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you an alternative to TeamViewer and also AnyDesk. TeamViewer and AnyDesk, they are all remote desktop application which you can use to log into somebody's laptop or desktop and work on that person's laptop or desktop remotely without any issue. You can use that means to copy file and collect file from that person's laptop. But these softwares are actually meant for working remotely for those of you graphic designers video editors or computer engineers okay software engineers that would like to be solving problem across the internet from the comfort of your home i've been using this application for a long time but the only challenge most people are having is you can't even pay monthly on these platforms on these websites team viewer and any desk they will bill you annually so if you're new in software engineering business or graphic design or whatever kind of IT business that will make you log into somebody's system, wherever the person is living, to solve any kind of problem or to fix anything or to code anything or to design anything on the person's laptop. You will need to pay yearly and monthly is $10.90. So yearly subscription should be around a hundred and something dollars. Assuming you're a newcomer and you don't have this kind of money, this is going to be a big issue for you because it's not everybody especially most of us that live in africa that can bring out a hundred dollars or a hundred and something dollars to pay for such application at once so if you're the kind of person that gets job once in a while you wouldn't want to pay a hundred and something dollars because that's a job you're going to do next week and you don't know the next time the next job is going to come it's going to be a waste of money so in this video, I'm going to show you an alternative to these two um, remote desktop application. TeamViewer and AnyDesk is not the only remote desktop application um, that we have. There are so many other remote desktop applications. All those ones you still have to pay. But in this video, I'm going to show you a free one that you don't need to pay. You can use it to log into somebody's system, desktop or laptop, and work for hours without having any issue. If you go to TeamViewer, you guys can see TeamViewer is $11.90, which is $12. And if you go to any desk, any desk is $10.90, which is $11. TeamViewer is just $1 higher than any desk for the solo, for individual. Okay. And for the standard, TeamViewer is $21.90 per month. I'm talking about per month. I am not even against the pricing. But the issue is billing you annually. You cannot be able to pay on a monthly basis. So if you have only one job this month, that means it's all waste of money. So I am going to take you guys on a step-by-step. -step. And this video is also for those of you that enrolled in my online training that I have been using TeamViewer and AnyDesk to work on their system. Some of you of lately will notice that sometimes I complain when I'm working because it will be hanging just because my yearly subscription has expired. So I've not subscribed. But after doing a lot of research, I come up with another remote desktop application that you don't need to pay any monthly or yearly. You will use it and be working on people's laptop and desktop and be making your money. And all the money you'll be making will be 100% coming to your pocket so pay attention to this video and follow everything i'm going to show you in this video on a step-by-step -step basis don't miss anything please pay very attention to this video because um i would like everybody that is watching this video to understand this okay go to google and type google remote desktop i'm going to leave a link to this um um, um to the website so that most of you guys wouldn't miss it okay once you're here open this in a new tab or in the same um, tab you guys can see the easy way to remotely connect with your home or work computer or share your screen with others okay let me zoom this let me see if i can zoom this all right now you guys can see here securely access your computer whenever you are away using your phone tablet or another computer share your screen to collaborate in real time or connect with another computer to give or receive remote support okay fine so this is where you have to click access my computer now we are going to click here once you click here you can see remote access is here okay remote access to allow remote access on this computer click on 
So if you are the kind of person that wants people to come into your system, or if I want to come into your system and uh, work on your system, you have to turn this on. Click turn on. Okay. If you click turn on, it's going to give you your um, system name. You can change it if you don't want it. You can see here King Studio, but this is my system name. Click on next. Once you click on next, it's going to tell you choose pin. Okay. For you can see choose pin with at least six number. You will need the pin to connect to this computer. So I am going to put 112233. Okay. Come here, put 112233. Okay, and click on start. All right. So let's wait for this to finish. You can see, do you want to allow this app to make changes? Click on yes. You can see this system is offline. You can see King Studio is offline. All right. From here, you can still edit your password and change it. Once you are done, click on save. You can still delete it. Now go to remote support, which is the next one. Remote support is where you can share your screen. Share the screen to let someone else access this computer. Click below to generate a one-time access code. Then share the code with the person you want to allow access. They will be able to see your screen and control your keyboard and mouse. Fine and good. So what we are going to do is generate code. If, you, if I want somebody to come into the system, I'm, I will click on generate code. If I click on generate code, this um, is going to generate a code. You can see the code. Copy this code and send to whoever that wants to come into your system. If I want to come into your system, you have to copy this code and send it to me. I will use this code and log into your system. Okay, I'm going to cancel this. This is, please note, if you want somebody to work on your system, you have to generate code, send that code to the person or take a screenshot of it and send it to the person. Now, let's go back to the next one, which is you are the one connecting to that system. Connect to another lap, laptop, which is um, connect to another system to remotely access another computer. Enter the one-time access code you were given, which is this code. So when you generate code and send to me, I am going to put that code here and I will connect to um, that system. Now we're going to try it now. I'm going to generate this code. I am going to still connect to this system. I don't have any other system here. I would have done it with another system. It's just that it's going to bring multiple, as in it's going to, since I'm connecting to the same system, it's not going to be a plain screen. You're going to see a mirrored screen, multiple screen in one screen, but it's going to be the same thing as well. So click on generate code. Once you click on generate code, copy this code, okay? Please bear in mind that this code lasts for only four minutes. So once you generate this code, you have to send it to whoever that wants to log into your system on or before four minutes. You have to send it earlier so that this person will even log into your system because if that four minutes exceeds, this code is no longer going to work. You have to generate another new code. Um, let's come here. Press this code here and click on connect. This system is going to connect to this system remotely. Support session, you can see, connecting. But when it comes up with the screen, the screen is going to be screen in screen in screen, as in there are going to be multiple screen in one screen. So, but if I'm connecting to another system, it's going to just be one screen. Why it's going to be multiple screen is because I am using this system to connect to this system. It's like you having a mirror in your front and having another mirror at your back pressing opposite side. You're going to see yourself in multiple ways. Same you, but you're going to be like maybe 30, 40, just like that. So let's wait for this system to connect to this system. You can see this system is online. You see what I'm saying? Hello. You can see it has mirrored the screen in multiple ways because I'm connecting the, to the same system. So let's um you guys can see that is the same screen. When I close it and open it, it's going to be one screen, but you guys can see now 
stop sharing so guys i hope this video was helpful at least i've showed you guys a platform that you can use to work without paying any monthly or yearly payment instead of using team viewer or using any desk or any other application that you have to pay annually so if you feel this video was helpful give it a thumbs up and if you're watching my video for the first time my name is asuka mckinsley on this channel i give you updates on how to make money online and some other updates that helps in our daily online space but during the weekend i make sure i give you updates on new games and apps in the virtual reality space so if you wouldn't want to miss any of my videos make sure you hit the subscription button and make sure you turn on the notification button so that you'll be the first to know once i upload a new video i will see you guys in my next video you guys should stay creative and remain as always blessed